Hey you guys, welcome back to day 11. Um, today we go talk about being prepared. Yes, I don't have on no makeup. Today is a no makeup kind of day. Kind of tired. I'm not even going to front. Woke up um, early this morning and been on the go ever since. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of tired, but being prepared, how are you getting prepared for the stuff that you're asking God for? Before we jump into that, um, let's say the Bible verse for today. I do a Bible verse every day because I am trying to learn the Bible myself. Um, I don't feel like the Bible is the only way to know God. It takes experience. Just like, just like life. Like, people can study all day you know be real good when it comes to paper and books but then when they get out here in real life they fail so you gotta have a balance you gotta have a yeah like a balance of real life um like basically hands on training as well as the learning the book so I'm trying to learn the book I got my hands on the train I'm trying to learn the book because people always want references when you you know talking they want to feel like make you feel like you know you got to know the Bible to know God so if that's what it takes for people to take what I'm saying serious is to learn the Bible that's what I do I will do so we can learn together one verse at a time but today's verse is from Luke 924 for whosoever wants to save their life will lose it but whoever loses their life for me will save it that's interesting um, but yeah, I really don't know what that Bible verse means. Hmm, whoever should save their life will lose it, but whoever shall lose it will be saved. Hmm, that's like some, some real deep you gotta sit and think about for a second. But being prepared. What are you doing to be prepared for the things you ask God for? I ask God to be the number one designer in the world. And what I'm doing to prepare for that, I'm sewing. Um, I don't get to sew every day, but I'm trying to get into habit of sewing every day. So... Today, I did this project, this little tassel pouch with lined on the inside. I did two of them. Yeah, so it's like right now, and right now, it's kind of hard to get motivated. I don't know what's going on with me, but it's like in my head, I just want to do so much, but what have I done to actually get towards the things that's going on in my head? <sighs> To me, it feels like nothing, like I've done nothing. I'm not prepared. No matter how much 
I want to just be this great designer. Deep down inside, I know I'm not prepared to be on the level that I think I am in my head, I feel like, I guess. But I can be on that level, but I don't think I've been preparing myself like I should be. Maybe it's just the the stuff going on around me that's distracting me. I'm very easily distracted. I've been working on my focus and I think um, this fast and working out will help me with discipline and focusing my mind so that I can just really fall in love all the way with my craft and really just put in the work I know a lot of times I just feel like I don't know I just want to sleep all the time it's like in my head I'm already great but in reality I just want to sleep <laughs> if I'm at, if I'm not at somebody's job I just want to sleep so that's another thing that I got to do I got to prepare my mind to transition from a worker to a, a business owner and I'm also in school getting my bachelor's degree in business so that's helping me learn um, how to run a business and how to do it successfully so it takes steps as long as you take in some type of step towards it um, I think you should be proud of yourself because some people get caught up in the talk the talking phase and never actually um, do anything. I'm sorry, y'all. This cat is distracting me. She over here messing with all my sewing stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> my bad. I had to kick her out because she was messing with my stuff. But on um, the talking phase, I believe I was stuck in the talking phase for about, what, six, six years? Let me see. Yeah, I guess you could say six years, maybe five, but... It was hard. It was like, because at first I was going to school for interior design, but two years in, I realized that wasn't really what I was passionate about. I like designing, I like putting stuff together. But that aspect in designing just wasn't driving me, I guess. So. I decided to do fashion. I always um, got compliments on my clothing. Even though I used to wear either like through school, I used to wear hand-me-downs or I was a Walmart chick. All my clothes came from Walmart. I think the only name brand that I had was probably some tennis shoes and 
That was like some Reeboks. My all white Reeboks. I used to love my Reeboks. But yeah. Um, hit me down to Walmart. But I guess however I was putting it together, people used to like it. So I guess God was preparing me for this route and I didn't even know it. I knew it was something with design and I just didn't know it was this. And yeah, I talked about it for about five or six years. I think when I realized I realized I didn't want to do it anymore. I guess in like 2010, I realized I wanted to do fashion. The end of 2010. And... What? Sorry, my daughter was calling me. Um, I bought my first sewing machine with my income taxes in like 2011. Maybe 2012. I think it was 2012. And I moved to Ohio. And I took that sewing machine with me and never really used it. It was like, I used it every now and then. But it was like a hobby. So it was like a hobby. And then I guess in like 2016, that's when I really started sewing, sewing like sewing every day. Yes, Malia. Um, Sorry, y'all. Um, what? Um, the TV. The TV? What's wrong with the TV? I can't watch it. Oh. Can you uh -huh. Get your cat. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <sighs> whoa, I'm gonna try to come in here and get some, get some little peace. Never. <laughs> Never. But yeah, um, I talked for a long time and it took somebody saying to me, like, it's time to stop talking about it and do it. And I was like, you're right. You gotta wait. Are you gonna fix it yourself? I can't no do it. Well, you gotta wait. Oh, people will be slow. Um. Um. I tell you, these five year olds. They have tantrums and mood swings all day long. That's another reason why I be tired all day. Dealing with that all day. Teachers, I commend you, because this one five-year-old <laughs> be about to drive me crazy. I don't know how y'all deal with, like, 20 of the mugs at one time. Mama. What? The, cra the cat scratching? Oh, are you okay? Ooh, your hairy child. <laughs> Excuse her hair. I be trying to do it, but she don't never want me to comment. Or when I do comment, she <laughs> she uh mess it up. So excuse her hair. But what are you doing to get prepared? Um to be a designer, even though I never went to school for it. I started watching videos. Um, I couldn't afford like fashion school. Um, so I decided to get my degree. Take it and go out. You making too much noise. Get it and go out. I'm not going to make too much noise. Okay, thank you. Um, so, yeah, I, I decided to just get my business degree and just learn the business side of it in school. I only got one more year. Woo woo. And I'll be finished. But neat. But, yeah, I started doing that and watching YouTube videos, recreating stuff, bags, purses, um, 
also crocheting hats and baby stuff. So even though I'm not in school, I'm still preparing myself um, to get better in this fashion thing. And I'm also preparing my mind to run a business and think like a businesswoman by going to school. Um, it can be hard to get prepared. You, it, it's, it's hard to know how to prepare for something that you don't already have. Um, like, I pray one day to be a better mom for my daughter. Some people might, some people tell me that I'm a good mom, but I feel like I could be better. Nobody's perfect, and everybody got wiggle room to grow, so I feel like I could be a better mom for her. So I pray to God to help me prepare and to do that. Um, I also had some training growing up because, yeah, I, I was like the babysitter of the family. So my nickname in the family was like the baby whisperer. I thought I was going to never have kids, but I always had somebody else's kid, you know, watching them. So... They can go out and have date night or whatever. But little, little did I know that was preparing me to be a mom. Sometimes we can get stuck on the lessons that we don't actually learn um, what we supposed to be learning to be prepared for the next step. So we never make it to the next step. We get stuck on the level. It's like playing this awesome video game. And then there's like 20 levels. And you get stuck on level 10. And you just there on level 10 for months and months. And then it turned into years. Till... You find some type of cheat code. And I'm going to say God is the cheat code. Because if you ask him, he'll guide you. So with God, he'll take you to the next level. He'll get you unstuck and give you a fresh mind so that you can... Um, think like you never thought before <laughs> and uh, find new solutions where your mind had got blocked and barricaded and so now I'm trying to get to the next level so I'm also preparing myself as far as my faith because it can be hard trying to balance your faith and a business work ethic in this uh, secular world. So, you gotta always be preparing. It's like constantly preparing yourself for a different battle you're a soldier how good of a soldier are you is the question are you out there practicing every day to be the best or you only practice when you feel like you need to when, when the war about to start and everybody practicing together, is that the only time you practice? Or do you never practice and you just go out there and wing it? <laughs> I was winging stuff at first, but now I'm trying to... Huh? Wing it. Yeah.
So now I'm trying to go from just winging it to only practicing when I need to, to practicing every day. Um, so I can be better, better prepared. Also, to, um, ask God to help me be a good wife to someone one day. And you like, how do you prepare to be a wife if you're not a wife? That's just something you figure out when you become a wife. I don't know. What I've been trying to do, I guess, is learning, being a good wife by learning how to not be tempted. Um, sometimes it can get hard. Like, nothing is perfect. So, you're going to have bad times in relationships. Like, these people that's been married 20 plus years. Let's say these people that have been married like 50 years. They probably, some of them say they went like 20 of the 50 years not even liking each other. So to think about this person that you love, that's your best friend. You went a full 20 years not even liking each other kind of just like tolerating each other and then one day you had to make a decision is this something you really wanted to keep was it worth keep keeping or should you let it go and that gave y'all some type of spark to work on yourself and each other and to try to build that bond again but how do you prepare yourself for something you're not already in i was reading in that that success book that i've been showing y'all how he mentioned his wife megan good how she wanted to play a role uh, excuse my language but the badass chick role. I, 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 I've always dreamed to play one of those roles. <gasps> but I can't act. So <laughs> it just be all up in my mind. But she wanted to play one of them roles where, you know, she's super cool. Doing these cool, you know, karate moves and saving people and just looking cool doing it, I guess. That's how I think in my mind when I think of those roles. But she wanted to do that role. and But she had never done that type of role before. So he was saying that... Um, nobody wanted to cast her as one of those roles. Because they couldn't see her as that role. Because she, she was used to being like the pretty girl... Um, the girlfriend, you know, those type of roles. So he told her to start preparing for the role like she already had it. So she started going from just working out when she needed to, I guess, for like a role or something like that, to working out every day and, you know, learning how to do... I guess like different like stunt moves or stuff like that. She was already preparing herself for the role like she had it already. So that when she got the role, it was already second nature. She didn't have to, it wasn't like she last minute scrambling around trying to see if she can handle it or... You know, just bombing all the way, just failing miserably because you don't know nothing about what you're trying to transition into. And so I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to get in the habit of like forcing myself to just sew every day. Um, I'm also preparing my mind. I'm also preparing... Um, 
don't know. I'm just trying to trying to get there and trying to take the necessary steps. It can be hard trying to know the exact step to take. So, um, I go ahead and take the easy steps. And then for the other ones I'm not too sure about, I keep praying until I get some type of clarity. This is another way of me preparing myself for this business. Get, being Learning how to be consistent by doing these videos every day. Um, and communication. I'm preparing myself to be a great communicator. Um, I've seen businesses that have tanked because the communication throughout the business was horrible. So, even if my talent takes me to the next level, my inability to be able to communicate with other people will be something that hold me back. So if I like prepare myself all the way around, so when I get to this next level, um, I'm prepared all the way around. I won't have any openings to get, you know, hit. And that's how God take your weaknesses and add them into your strength. And so that you become this solid, strong soldier and impenetrable. <laughs> um... That's what somebody told me. They was like, since my car accident, and I got these metal pins in my um, pelvis. I'm like Kanye. I could never walk through a metal detector. Ah, without going off. I gotta get me like a, a card or something. So when I start traveling, they won't be like, like Superman tackling me because they think I got a weapon of mass destruction or something. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I just got metal inside of me. I'm like the girl version of Wolverine. <laughs> ah, I know, I'm a little nerd. I like comic books and video games. Cartoons. I'm all about karate movies and Japanese anime. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm just trying to prepare myself all right around. Um, I'm trying to be solid. Clear thinking, focused. I feel like this is the most I've ever been focused. And that's sad. It took me like 29 years to get focused. I always felt like I had a problem focusing. Like I had ADD or something. Like in a school setting. It's so hard for me. Um, I don't know how I passed high school. Because I feel like I slept through the whole thing. Like, no lie. Especially, like, my math classes. Those was the main classes that I was sleeping through. But somehow I was able to pass my math classes <laughs> with A's every time. It's crazy. I know people think it's weird when I tell them this, but I focus more when I'm asleep. I know that's weird, but I do. It's like, because I am a light sleeper, so I can hear everything going on around me when I'm sleeping. So, I was 
even though I was sleeping, I was actually learning because I could hear what the teacher was saying and it was like playing like this video in my head. So I was visualizing what she was saying and that somehow the sleep was like helping me focus. Because when I was awake, I was drawing or looking out a window or talking. But if I'm sleeping, I'm not doing either of those things. And, you know, I'm not doing either of those things. So I could just zoom in on what she was saying. Um, I've also done movies like that before. <laughs> like I could be sleeping and the movie be playing. And I can reenact the whole thing in my head. It's weird. I don't know. But I'm trying to learn how to focus without sleeping. <laughs> so, um, just trying to prepare myself. I also want to get these, like, they got these vitamins that's supposed to help you focus. I've been thinking about getting those to see if they work. Who knows, but my time is up. If you have a dream, what are you doing to prepare for yours? Um, leave a comment under the video. Let's talk about it. I love talking to you guys. Let's uh, pick each other's brains and explore the world. It's great. I don't know. Everybody brain that good to pick. Because some people are just like, eh. you, you look at their brain and you be like, ah! Like, why are you thinking about that stuff? <laughs> but, like, you know, business-wise and goal-wise, Let's pick each other brains and move forward. Um, if you'd like to support us and Nikki Young, you can uh, check out my website www.nikkiyug.com. You can also find me on Twitter. Facebook and Instagram. N I K K I Y U G. So hit me up. Let's talk. Thanks for coming in. See y'all tomorrow.